before anybody knew about the dog in the game, and we released our very first trailer, and you know it had it featured Riley in in a couple of scenes. The internet blew up, and it was all of a sudden, you know, biggest thing on the internet at the time of Riley the dog, Call of Duty dog. There was Twitters that popped up. There was a little risk of people trying to shoehorn the dog into scenes where he wasn't originally going to be. Uh, and fortunately, that lasted for a couple of weeks, I think. But it sort of everybody kind of got back into okay, we're making a game. Let's just concentrate on making the game. And it's great that Riley's you know so popular, but let's let's keep focused on making the best game and make Riley make sense and not put him in space or a you know or a scuba suit. <laughs> This environment, we didn't have trees, we didn't have grass, we didn't have, you know, it was it was like, okay, dog, look like, you know, pretend that this is a, a rural environment uh, or in the desert area and act accordingly. And Ruger's is like, dude, this is a this is a studio with with you know uh, mats where you know people would do exercises in the gym and there's white lines on the gr- on the ground. And so just trying to get him to act as if it's a real environment that we're trying to act like we're in. That was the hardest thing. And yet everybody thinks we're going to kill, says we're going to kill the dog. So, I, you know, maybe that's the expected thing. Maybe that's what we would do. Maybe it's not what we'll do. We'll see. Even around here, people didn't know, always know. And a lot of people had that sort of same sentiment of, we better not kill the dog. The emotional investment for people here were just as strong as what you're, you're seeing out in the public. Take him out.